The Pima Rough Riders came into Safford looking for some payback for their EA Holiday Tourney loss. But can the Riders tame the surging Bulldogs? We've got all your highlights to find out. After Pima broke the ice with a jumper from Riley Alder at the elbow, Joe Joe Ruelas found himself wide open on a loose ball scramble, and Ruelas puts it in off glass. The team seemed evenly matched in the first quarter as Preston Russell gets the jump shot to go down. But Safford's Braden Bowman shows his grit down low and gets the rebound put back. Pima went back to its front court with an answer from Clark Ashby, but JoJo found an open Isaiah Alvarado who made Pima pay all three of these to give Safford the lead. However, it would be short-lived as Preston Russell gets the offensive rebound and finds an open Riley Elder who nails the three. Corona utilized a Russell pick and hits a jump shot, but Safford answered with Bowman down low as Quintero finds him on the drive for the assist. Then it was Ruelas on the drive and dish with Bowman corralling the loose ball and putting it home to tie up the game at 11 with just under a minute left in the opening quarter. Pima then got a free throw from Russell and on the second attempt Sam Ray fights for the rebound and gets it and puts it back in to give Pima a 14-11 lead after one quarter of play. Optimal Health Systems in Pima is the original whole food supplement company with its high potency whole food formulas absorbable at the cellular level. Come in to OHS today and try our blend of supplements that thousands of doctors and athletes have used for decades. The Rough Riders open the second on the run as Sam Ray gets the rebound to Corona, who shoots a half-court pass to a sprinting Ashby for the easy layup, beating Safford down the court. Nephi Fox came back and drilled a three-pointer from the top of the key, but Corona splits the double team for an easy layup score to keep Pima ahead. Then it was Nate Quintero gathering Corona's miss, and as he's going out of bounds, he finds Ruelas at midcourt for the outlet, and JoJo puts it home with the near dunk. Quintero gets the steal from Ray and heads coast to coast for the layup, but Ray recovers in time to poke it away. Then it was deja vu all over again, as Quintero steals the ball from Ray and heads coast to coast, with Corona trying to take the charge, but this time Quintero finishes for the bucket. Then with 3.36 left in the second, and Pima up by two, Preston Russell was called for his third foul and had to sit, much to the chagrin of his head coach, Cliff Thompson, who did not agree with a couple of the calls against Russell. With their big man out, Safford plugged up the middle and made defensive plays like this big swat from Nephi Fox on Joel Matais. Pima battled with backdoor cuts as Isaiah Alvarado doubles Ashby. Riley then makes a beeline for the bucket and Ashby hits him on the dish for the layup to put Pima up two with under two minutes left in the half. Then Ruelas goes behind his back on the drive but loses the ball to Matais. However, Jojo swipes it back and puts it in off glass. And on defense, Ruelas pops the ball out of Alder's hands and ends up with it. Jojo then heads toward the bucket, but Alder gets back in time for the offensive charge call. Safford had one last shot to take the lead at the end of the quarter, but Joel Matai steps in to take the charge, and Pima heads into halftime with a 25-24 lead. With amenities designed to keep patients comfortable and relaxed, Copper Hills Dental is your choice for anxiety-free dentistry. Visit our website and Facebook page or simply call 428-2750 to schedule your appointment today. That's Copper Hills Dental. The start of the third quarter brought the return of Preston Russell to the lineup and he paid dividends immediately as he cleaned the glass on Corona's jumper and put it back before he even landed to put Pima up three. Then as JoJo tries to answer back, Russell deflects the pass and causes the turnover. Corona picks it up and nobody's going to stop him as Keegan goes coast to coast and finishes around Fox for the bucket. Nephi then hit JoJo on a nice full court pass, but the Bulldogs couldn't hang on and lost the ball out of bounds. Safford looked to the long ball to claw back and Nephi Fox drilled it to bring Safford within three. But Pima's Keegan Corona had a game high 23 points and he showed off his range in answering right back. Then it was Jojo Ruelas' turn, and the Bulldog made a nifty up and under move for the score, and don't look now, but we've got a ball game.
Roadrunner Rehab has been helping Gila Valley residents and athletes achieve their peak performance for over 30 years. They are now offering occupational therapy and adult speech therapy to assist in all your rehabilitation needs. Whether they're getting you back to work or back on the field, they're here to help you. That's when Russell put on his big boy pants and said, I got this, as he scores off the inbounds and then later off the fast break, he takes the dish from Corona and puts it in. The Bulldogs tightened up their defense to come back and Ruelas poked it away from Ashby as Quintero takes it coast to coast for the score, but it just rolls off the rim. Nate made up for it with this pull up jumper in the paint and it's still just a four point game. Well, it was just a four point game until Keegan Corona crosses up Jace Jameson and finishes through the contact for the end one play. Corona completed the free throw and then Sam Ray battled down low and got this rebound put back and Pima took a 42-35 lead into the final quarter of play. And the Riders kept their foot on the gas as Ray sets the pick and Corona finds Ashby open down low. But the Bulldogs kept fighting as well and Ruelas took it right at Ashby and got it to fall off glass. Ashby got his revenge by getting good rebounding position and putting the offensive board right back in. Then Russell cuts off the lane on help defense, giving Alvarado nowhere to go and causing the turnover. Ray got the ball to Corona, who knows exactly what to do and finishes strong for the bucket. With Safford trying to come back late in the fourth, it was Russell who stepped up, first by scoring on a nice dish from Ashby, and then Russell came up with a big defensive rebound with Bulldogs all around him. And when Safford got the steal, Russell was there to defend the hoop and got another defensive rebound. Then as Corona goes up for the shot, Russell nabs the offensive rebound and puts it back in out of the air for the second time of the night, giving Pima a 13-point lead with under two minutes to play and pretty much sealing the game. Sam Ray then took his man off the dribble for Pima's final field goal, and Keegan Corona hit five out of six free throws in the final seconds as Pima comes into Safford and takes out the Bulldogs 61-46. Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill is the spot in Thatcher to enjoy healthy Hawaiian food with a friendly atmosphere and great service. Order in person or by the phone or online to see the tasty treat everyone is talking about. That's Kainoa's Hawaiian Grill. For me, it was, uh, like you said, a little foul trouble at the beginning. Uh, a few calls that I just, I wasn't having it with them. And I guess that just aggression in me just kind of, I flipped the switch. And I really was coming back, and I was not happy with my performance against them in the tournament. So I was coming back with a little bit of uh, like revenge. It was a really big win. Uh, should help us a lot in rankings, and it's definitely a team booster. Um, great for team unity as well. And glad to. Uh, come out with the W. No, we feel really good about this win. Uh, Safford's, a, Safford's an excellent team, a lot of talent. They play hard. I, I watched them play Thatcher the other day and they just, they look really good. And so, uh, you know, we knew we were gonna have to play four full solid quarters and we, and I feel like we did. You know, we, we, uh, we didn't let up and, and you know, we, uh, we found a way to score when our, we weren't executing real well. And, uh, you know, then we just ground it out on defense. Uh, I'm really proud of the guys. And I feel like in the first half, Bowman did get kind of go off. He had six points in the first quarter. And it's because our rotation wasn't getting there. They, I mean, their guards are quick. They'd beat us off the dribble, and then we would help. And then the, the he helping the helper wasn't there. And so we, we fixed that in the second half. I'm just really proud of my guys. They, they're, we're starting to come together as a team. We're starting to play with some confidence. And, we just want to keep improving. Reporting from Safford for the Gila Herald, I'm John Johnson.